MPESA's launch of Open APIs opens up a whole new chapter on scaling opportunities, innovation, digital transformation in the country to benefit corporate organizations and the developer community at large. How is the market poised to adapt to an API-enabled world? This is for everyone. I think as most of the uh, fintech and startups have rightly said, this is something that they've been waiting for. So I, my background is IT and I happen to manage in the past the integration between third parties and, and M-Pesa. And we had a tracker actually, we had to create a tracker to manage the SLAs because some of the integration are taking up to four months and you can see them. And, and, and when you ask, is it our problem, is it third party problem, and you find out most of the issues are from third party. It's either VPN connectivity that they're struggling with, or the API themselves are so complex, they are struggling, maybe they fired one developer, they've gone for another advanced developer. So, to be honest, this is like we are opening up M-Pesa in a very simple manner that different now businesses don't need to worry about the complexity of integrating to M-Pesa. They just need to have the idea and plug into M-Pesa and continue to whatever business they're doing. So in, in a nutshell, I think this will increase a lot of innovation in the country. This will lead to uh, a lot of young people to participate now in the fintech industry and really uh, uh, drive forward the agenda of financial inclusion. From what we heard from the developing society, uh, de developer society, uh, I don't recall his name, but there's one uh, gentleman that say it's an early Christmas. So for me, yeah, I, I was excited uh, with the uh, announcement uh, due to the fact that uh, the startups guys, you know, from other programs, the digital acceleration, one of the things we are asking and that we are not ready, we are not able to give the uh, update in terms of, as to when was this open API. So what impact did you bring uh, from business point of view? I think the critical thing is time to market. So as you heard from uh, my colleague back that uh, it took over four months to integrate. Now you heard from uh, Bundala, uh, it took less than a day. So to me that's critical. So time to market is, is, is a very uh, uh, critical thing and uh, if you can be able uh, to reduce from four months to a day, that means we'll be able to change people's life and we're going to be able to bring positive impact uh, for, uh, to the society uh, from the economic point of view. So to, th uh, to me, this is a game changer and uh, I'm looking forward uh, for more uh, positive uh, outputs or outcomes. Yeah. Just to add on top of that, uh, I think when we are entered, a lot of uh, developers were not sure like even if it's going to be a really open API for them to go and test. But of course, after Edgar's presentation, everything now we can see it's possible. Uh, I've been working with uh, a lot of startup and developers uh, for the years, and also myself, I'm a developer. Uh, the biggest blocker on this was the VPN, and of course, people to join uh, directly. And of course, just to explain in a very uh, normal language is uh, the job of developers, not just uh, to create code, but also is to create solution. As you know, in Africa and in Tanzania as a whole, we have a lot of challenges. So the main thing is developer, what they do is trying to create a certain solution in order to simplify uh, different type of things. So in the process of creating the simplification kind of solutions, now at the end of the day, you need to pay them or you need to pay that ecosystem. During the payment, it was a hurdle because uh, most of the people, they actually do payment through cash. And of course, if you want to, a developer want that cash uh, through a digitalization mode, was supposed to connect with uh, Telecom, especially uh, Vodacom as m -Pesa. But the process for them during the idea to the implementation, it was actually taking a lot of time. I remember, of course, there was even uh, an additional rule at which uh, not only just a VPN, but also you need to be connected within a certain server. Either back in the days it used to be physical server, and then they changed the rule into AWS. But all of that, that means it's gone. 
within one day, for me I can say even in a lesson than a day, you ideate to uh, implementation. That is to say, uh, through Vodacom as an ecosystem of that API will enable a lot of people uh, to create a different solution. Uh, and within this, that is to say, uh, impacting different industry and creating solution which means uh, indirectly, actually Vodacom, they're going to enable creating a lot of new jobs. Because new solution, that means new jobs, and then at the end of the day, uh, we're all going to be benefits. So actually, as we say, Christmas really came early. Speaking from a business perspective, uh, I'm just excited to bring ideas into reality working. So when you have an idea to implement something, it needs to be implemented in a simplicity. So when you had uh, this idea from the app we mentioned, SMX app, uh, developer was thinking that we are going to face the VPN again in integrating M-Pesa. So he had prepared the VPN, the guy knows how to do these things. So when we are contacting um, Kevin Mwansota, he then introduced to us this open API and the guy said, wow, this, we are going to do it just very simple and easy. So he just took one day and that it was so exciting. So we just love to thank you Vodacom for providing this to us. Okay, thank you so much guys. Um, we know that APIs are proven catalysts for disrupted business models but also they're the future for innovation and scaling up of financial services and creating entire new markets in some instances. This question is for you, Epimac. What is the API strategy framework for M-Pesa looking like with regards to your customers and partners? The whole way today is moving from a closed uh, loop systems. Closed loop system means we as Vodacom will be building our own services and launching our own services. Everyone now is moving to platform strategy. Platform strategy is where you open up the platform between uh, the, uh, the businesses, developers, to interact with customers. So today, we have this big uh, ecosystem called M-Pesa, which has got these 11 million customers, it has got uh, over 6,000 merchants, uh, agents, businesses, more than 3,000. And what we see, there is a need now to open it up to businesses, to a fintech society, to build solutions which will connect businesses to customers, customers to agents, agents to merchants. So there is a whole ecosystem and a lot of value that can be unlocked uh, through uh, this, this strategy. So the idea here is we are making a move from a pure mobile money operator to M-Pesa being a platform whereby different businesses will be able now to create their solutions using the, 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 the ecosystem that we have created of customers, of merchants, of agents and everything. So, so that's, that's the strategy and we are starting by opening up uh, through M-Pesa Open APIs where we say now we welcome the world to create solutions. So uh, the, the, the old world of us calling our people here and say today we launch a certain product that is going to change, it will be now different uh, fintech and startups calling our people saying we are, open, we, are, we are launching this and we have integrated with M-Pesa, it's working with M-Pesa. So that's, that's the future, that's where we are going, that's the strategy uh, for M-Pesa. Thank you so much. Guru, how yeah. do we plan to monetize all this great stuff with all these APIs, with all the vast data assets that we have? How does Vodacom plan to monetize this great solution? Okay, thank you, Cleo. Uh, first thing, it's not only about monetization, but also how are we going to improve experience? How are we going to continue changing people's life through technology? Now, you heard yourself from the developers and the uh, partners from the business side that they were really struggling uh, to get them integrated uh, to our ecosystem without uh, today's solution. So it's like, uh, name one country that is very difficult to go, the visa process that is very difficult. So imagine that country now is visa free. To me, this is what uh, we have launched. 
So you can go, it's just you take your uh, bus fee or your ticket, you go. There is no visa. From today, there is no visa, it's free. So with that, it means that our journey through digitizing Tanzania has, uh, has been catalyzed or has been uh, uplifted further because now we'll be able to bring more digital solutions, more solutions that are addressing our challenges within the country at uh, a very quick uh, uh, to, to market, at a very low cost, at a very efficient, user-friendly, and very profitable, which will, it means it's not, not only Vodacom, but also to the society, especially developers, and of course, to the Tanzania. Now, imagine if I was planning to say launch five services uh, this year. Now, why five? It's because uh, to integrate, it was taking four months, as you heard yourself. Now, if it, it will take one day, just a simple mathematics, you see what is now uh, our capability in terms of launching the product. So we'll be able to bring into the market a lot of digital solutions that will enhance customers and the, uh, Tanzanians in general, the experience which will change the way they used to transact. So our dream to have a cashless society, our dream to have a digital enabled society will be reached easily. We will have more reason for con uh, customers to consume because developers, they want, there will be no headache for them again to think, oh, uh, that VPN thing you heard from Edgar, eh? uh, how difficult it is to cross over fresh water from Zanzibar to uh, mainland, you see? So now everything is, has been simplified. So we don't have now excuse as to why we should not have uh, proper solutions at a very uh, short time to market. This, to me, goes back to what the developers say that we have an early Christmas this year, which means they will come to us, we will partner together, and they will make those solutions they are thinking at a bigger value. At the end, we want to have Silicon Da, uh, Silicon Valley in Da. We want to have the innovation that is happening. You heard from Edgar with regards to how we are going to export the solution outside. That's why Vodacom came with this one, with the, the focus on digital uh, strategy. You heard from uh, FMAC about uh, platforms. That's where we are heading there. With Open API, our journey has been simplified. I want to uh, shift focus a little bit and, and talk to the developer community for a little bit. Um, so the developer experience is key in rolling out of these APIs. So this question is for you, Edwin. Um, having worked with developers, having uh, being a developer yourself, your vast experience, what are the key considerations that uh, business should uptake to make sure that the developer experience is superior um, to ensure effective and smooth, seamless rollout of these APIs? Yeah, I think the most important thing in any business and the implementers, developers, it's speed. Speed to market, speed for testing, and speed for everything. And of course, with this API, that means it's actually going to put more value into that speed. As m many people say, you know, time is money, and then now time is M-Pesa. So with that on top of that, that is to say, uh, now, because a lot of developers, developers, I mean anyone from the university level, from secondary school, from the hubs, and even people from uh, other uh, uh, corporate uh, companies, uh, speed is key. And when they have a certain idea, of course they want to test it into the market. But when you want to test it into the market, that is to say you really want to see if, even in terms of the payment, actual works. So with this new uh, Vodacom uh, Open API system, that is to allow people who have a quick idea to test this fast. 
because uh, for especially on the startup, we know most of the people they have a lot of idea, but not every idea is going to pass to the market. So we have a certain word in the ecosystem. We say uh, fail cheap and fail fast. Fail cheap, that is to say, if you are going to use uh, Vodacom API, that means we, without implementing a lot of money in the system, that means it's actually cheap to implement, but not uh, only cheap, but also faster, so that you can understand with those, I think uh, Edgar showcased in terms of maybe three to four numbers which you can be able to test into the market to see uh, during the uh, research of your application, it cannot actually truly work. And then on top of that, actually within speed, we have been seeing, of course, this API is going to turn out not just a Vodacom as a payment uh, uh, platform in terms of M-Pesa, but also acting as a marketplace. Because now we are going to have sort of like a connected API. Because even developers, when they create their own system, they open API for other platforms to do so. So all these uh, uh, API, when they're going to be connected, so as a marketplace, people or maybe the users and the mass will be enabled to transact without any pain. And then at the end of the day, the business and the developers to make their money on top of it quicker and faster. So we're all excited and we are looking forward to uh, flood the marketplace of uh, M-Pesa API. Thank you, Edwin. Um, this next question is for you, Onesmo. Um, as one of the first business owners to integrate to our open uh, API, uh, and we saw a little bit of a glimpse of your experience, your story, but just kind of elaborate on what use cases did you deploy, um, what is the impact so far, and you know anything that you can share in terms of your experience, a little bit in detail. Thank you. For everyone to understand what this open API will have impact on our business, I can explain a little bit what our application does. I would recommend to download on Play Store, but uh, unfortunately it is still under review, so you cannot check right away. But save the name, SMX app. Anytime when it comes live, you can see the magic what this open API does. But in short, this is how it, this uh, application does. It, uh, what is supermarket for any supermarket place for digital content? I mean, videos, audios, PDF, words, yeah, text and images. So, anybody who needs to do trade online can uh, become a publishing application. So, you can publish and manage his account, set cost, and everything like you manage if a uh, Facebook account or YouTube account. Added on top with that feature where, where you can set. Um, a price for your content and someone comes in and check out for lock the content but some you can set up free so that is the way the app does so open api so i'm going to talk about a user interface when uh, our users come to interact with this uh, payment system from vodacom so when you choose a um, lock the content which you have to pay and you click buy or nunua it takes you to select payment method so when you select the vodacom and pesa to pay for what it will require is just to plug your Vodacom number uh, into the pop-up. Once you plug it, then the request is sent to M-Pesa, so load this API. M-Pesa processes everything while you are still in the app. Which will just come on top of the application is a USSD push for you to just plug your M-Pesa pin to complete a payment. Once you just plug your M-Pesa pin, done. The, lock, the content is open and you enjoy any entertainment found in our application. So as I have explained the payment way, the process and everything, it is very simplified, very fast and very easy, you see. So, so far from your question, what uh, user case we have used is, so far we have already C2B to collect funds from our users, but uh, soon later we're gonna use also B2C to distribute funds to our publishers who will be pushing here our application. So once again, I thank you for this because it was easy integrating and easy operating. So um, as the very first developer to plug into our uh, open API system, just share a little bit of your experience. Um, we have some uh, fellow developers in the audience who will be keen to, to hear what are the learnings, uh, if you have feedback uh, for us, just anything that you would like to share on your journey. Okay, let me tell you a short story. It took us 
at least two months to configure just VPN. And <laughs> after those two months, we learned about Open API, and we did it in a day. So you can imagine the Amazing. frustration. We were so frustrated, like, why did we lose all those two months? Well, we were, uh, that time could be used for something else. So you can just imagine what the, uh, the API will help you to achieve. Uh, another thing, the documentation is well structured, well written, uh, simple English, uh, a lot of examples. So. I believe even a beginner, uh, just a guy who coded like, I don't know, a single website or just a single page, can just use the API. Uh, it's very easy. And uh, I encourage you to try it. Uh, I, if, if you remember, uh, you remember on, the, on the testimonial I gave, I said you are missing out. So if you are here and you, don't, uh, you are still not having an, an open API account, you are missing out still. So please, if you get out of here, try to get that account and test it. It's so easy, very easy. I mean, it's like uh, a walk on the park, you know? Um, Tanzania has made great strides in financial inclusion, and even Isham mentioned that we are quite ahead in the whole areas of mobile payment. So this question is for you, Epimap. What areas of the fintech ecosystem do you see are poised to have the biggest gains from API rollouts like these? And what will those areas or use cases further the advancement of financial inclusion? So, first of all, I mean, as developers have said, I think all fintech startups will benefit from this. But I'd like to stress uh, on specific areas because these are strategic areas not only for um, uh, the, the industry but also for the country strategically. So if I look at the country, where the country is going today, I think there are a lot of opportunities on uh, SME. I think Isha mentioned about that. Uh, as the country is driving towards uh, uh, industrialization agenda, SME is very key uh, area. And we have not seen so much um, uh, innovations around SME. I think a lot of fintechs tend to play around uh, financial services space and they've left the SMEs alone. So today, uh, a lot of SMEs are struggling to collect, are struggling to get simple uh, loans, are struggling even to manage their day-to-day -day businesses. So I think it's an opportunity now that we have launched the Open APIs for uh, the fintech society to look at this opportunity. This is the growing area in the country and it's a strategic area. A lot of investment is going there. How does the, the industry help to digitize payments in this space? But another strategic area also for a country is agriculture. And there are very few innovations that have gone to uh, agriculture sector. A lot of people come to us with ideas which already exactly, already uh, executed, it's already uh, something which uh, is already live. Maybe they've not even done a, a, a simple research. But in agriculture, you look at agriculture sector, the whole uh, value chain within agriculture, there's very little innovation. And a lot of cash today uh, is going, I mean, it's, it's, in agriculture sector is cash dominant. A lot of payments is still through cash, collections, disbursements. So it's an opportunity that the industry can uh, uh, tap into and build solutions with open APIs that will simplify uh, the payments, collections, the all value chains, uh, the ecosystem, like create marketplaces where farmers can sell their products online and so forth and so forth. So I think these are strategic areas, but in, a short, in short, I think the open APIs opens the world anyone who is innovative enough, anyone who is uh, an entrepreneur can now uh, think and, and create products easily using our, our open API uh, our, our platform. Edwin, benchmarking on experience with uh, Smart Lab, you know you work around within the developer community quite uh, frequently. How is the developer community poised to tap into these kinds of development and drive sustainable change throughout the ecosystem? 
Uh, so actually, a couple of weeks ago, I was reading the report uh, about, uh, I mean, from FinScope uh, 2017 and 18, and then the new one uh, from uh, GSMA. Uh, it's true, as uh, Epimark explained, there is a lot of opportunity on uh, SMEs. You know, because the SMEs, they are the ones really want to impact in terms of the people uh, which we are around the community. But on top of that is uh, when uh, you dive deeper into the uh, GSMA report, it's actually, we have a lot of uh, fintech uh, companies and startup at which they're solving uh, payment solutions. But now with this open API, pretty much is going to make things really, really easy. And of course now people to focus more on a solution which is actually to impact the community. Uh, something maybe from agriculture, transport, health. Health actually right now it's a big thing. So how quickly are we going to solve uh, these solutions? And when you look in terms of uh, the ecosystem around Tanzania, even at the time when uh, Vodacom, because as the one which pioneer to grow uh, the ecosystem uh, through uh, Vodacom Digital Accelerator, a lot of applications whereby we receive more than 500 applications, uh, most of them actually, I think it was about maybe uh, 60 to 55 percent, was around education and health. So pretty much uh, there is a lot of things. When you say like we want to solve our local solutions, that is to say also people, they need to be educated. So education also is one of the biggest impact area at which our developers, they're actually working on it, around it. So as it say, when now these people are delivering solution, Open API is going to really make them just think around the solution and then let the uh, open API handle all the payment and things like that. So with this uh, uh, revolutionary open API feature, uh, we are actually going to look in terms of a lot of uh, solutions which are going to come out through. And for us within the ecosystem, this is the things which was being waited, I think maybe from five years uh, back, yeah, since the ecosystem was uh, uh, being launched around uh, the Costec which payment was really, really key uh, so that people can get paid through uh, their solution which they're going to impact. So with this, of course, uh, time, it's key. And now we are going to look in terms of you just think, test, and go. So after that, it's more about impacting the community to get their solution and the problem solved. So looking forward more into it. Uh, once again, uh, we have put up from Tanzania, uh, we are really pleased that you guys, you have time to test and uh, some uh, have already uh, started as uh, what Edwin said that you want to even go now. So uh, I don't know how to put it, but guys, Changamkien, uh, given the current uh, conditions and uh, you guys, you all know what uh, the world experienced for the a couple of the past months with these uh, new norms. I think Open API has come at the right time. So I'm stressing again, we should not end by saying uh, it's just uh, an early Christmas, but we need to see the solutions. From my side, as far as digital is concerned, I'm keen and I'm so, uh, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm late, I want it today. So if this was a showstopper, now I wanna see the solutions, let really change people's life. And uh, with the foundation from Vodacom Tanzania, with the strong network, uh, state-of-the-art platforms, guys, the future is really exciting. So, it's up to you. Okay, I think for me, I just have a few key takeaways. Um, you heard it all here uh, from morning. We've been talking about a digitized ecosystem. For me, just a few takeaways that you can take with you. Remember seamless end-to-end -end connectivity. Agility, fast, you heard Edgar, no VPN nightmares, guys. Simple documentation, which re eventually results into faster time to market. Fail cheap, fail fast. You launch today in Tanzania, you launch tomorrow in Mozambique, you launch at midnight in Lesotho. So guys, there's no doubt, this is a game changer. So, Desalipo, Changamuka, Mpesa ecosystem is open, guys. Thank you, that's it from me.